Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Mina. Hey, Shayna. Welcome, welcome. Looks different back here, doesn't it? Can someone give me a thumbs up to make sure you can hear me? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yes, we're painting after the live. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Cindy, hola. Hey, hey, hey. Loud and clear. How <laughs> loud and clear. Thank you, Nelly. Thank you. Yes, we're going to be painting that wall after the live tonight. So a lot of things are already moved over there. Just about everything except for the machines are moved over there already. Hey, Soria. Hey, Sora. Hey, Lakeisha Monique. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Crafty Scholars. Shayna. Hey, sis. Hey, Angela. Hey, Angela. And the Jasmine, you know. Hey, Jane. Hey, excitement T. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today? Oh, thank you, Lisa. Just recently found your channel and I am really enjoying your videos. Thank you so much. Who all was able to watch the um, how to applique a baby gown and baby hat? I'm curious who's watched it already watching this and listen to the storm outside now. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Hey, Jane. Jane, thank you for watching. Watched it while working today. Thank you, Christy. Oh, thank you, Asora. Asora, make sure, uh, please let me know, please tell me if I'm saying your name correctly or incorrectly. Hey, KJ Crafts. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Melanie says she watched and loved it. Thank you, Melanie. Hey, Robin. Robin's here. Robin's in the building. Whoop, whoop. Welcome. Hey, Mary. I'll be catching up tonight on videos. Okay, Lakeisha, thank you. I'll be catching up tonight. You got it. I love the pink gown. Thank you. See, where did I put it? Oh, I, I left it over here. Let me grab it and take a, I took a picture of it. I did, I made a video on making this. Doo -doo -doo. You know what? I don't have any of my lights on. Let me cut these lights on. It's like, why is it still dark? Ring light. That's okay, Anna. I'm just glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way in. I appreciate everyone coming today. Uh, Mary, my email is Hayes. Let me type it. Hayes Custom Creations at gmail.com. Mary, you got to claim your, your gift card. All right. Make sure you send it. Hey, Linda Gray. Welcome, welcome. 28 people. Okay, tonight I am going to be, I'm going to do a, a monogram on one towel. And I'm going to do just embroidered. Uh, name on this towel. So both these towels are mine. So 
I'm going to actually, I'm going to embroider the name on this one and monogram on this one. So it's going to have a blue one, real pretty blue one to match the stripe and a yellow one um, to match this design. And I believe both of my designs came from Designs by Juju. Okay, shoot. Okay, so let's look. It's all these helmets. Yes, you have. You still have that. Claim your prize, Mary. Thank you, Shana. And so today, um, in just a little bit, I'm also going to give away. Um, I, I might do two giveaways. I'm going to give away two towels, and you can either have a monogram. And I'll give you my email address and I'll mail it to you. You can either have a monogram or you can have your name on the towel or it can be a gift for somebody in your house. So you can give me somebody else's name. So I'm going to have these two towels. I think I'm going to use this for a giveaway. So make sure you're here. Yeah, this is so yellow is my favorite color of the yellow. Thank you, Julie. Hey, Nikki. I love your last name, Fipsy. That's pretty cool. Hey, hey, hey. So I guess I'm going to do two. Waiting for a few more people to trickle in. It's only been live for six minutes and 32 seconds. Hey, Kim. And thank you to all of those who joined me last night. I know my video came out a little bit later, but thank you to all those who joined me last night for the premiere of How to Applique a Baby Gown. <gasps> Lolo, I am Lolo. Thank you, Lolo. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Five dollars. The super chat. Thank you. Thank you. 34 people and 20 likes. Mina Roll from Canada. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Mina. Oh, let's see. Everybody's going to get new towels. And these are beach towels. These are like smaller. They're not the gigantic ones that I usually get from Wholesale, uh, Wholesale Blanks Boutique. These are 28 inches wide and 60, 60 inches long. So what, four by four by six, four by five? I can't add right now. That's not good. No, five. Gotta go, have to get down on the table. I try to come back. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for coming. Happy almost Friday. I know. So the let, next time you all see me live, I will have several things changed. The biggest thing you're going to see different is this wall. This wall will be pink. We're doing it tonight. Hey, 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 Nelly Martin. Oh, you're saying hi to Mina. Join us again soon, Cindy. So how many of you crafty scholars have already, um, you have embroidered or monogrammed a beach towel or a towel at home? Yes, it's almost spring. So some people are gone for spring break. I'm on spring break right now. Uh, I'm not at the beach. My students are, but I'm not. <laughs> hey, honey bunny, crafty scholars. Hey, Shamira. So this towel, I just saw these and I was like, oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. So for this project, I'm gonna be using this towel that is four by five. No, four by 12, 12 by, I don't know. I can't think right now. Uh, I love towels. I know you love towels, Mary. So I'm gonna use the towel. It's, 28 inches, I mean, 28 times four, and then what's this? Six and a half, five and a half, yeah. I'm gonna use this cutaway. I have this big roll of tearaway stabilizer because I'm gonna be using the eight by 13 hoop, mighty hoop. So eight by 13 mighty hoop. I'm gonna be using this right here 
to let me know what my center point is. So right here in between, and you'll see me mark it. I'm going to show you my steps. Okay. And I'm also going to be using my 10 needle, my 10 needle, <laughs> my empty area over there. Uh, my 10 needle brother, Entrepreneur Pro 1000E. And I have my table to hold the excess fabric. So anything I have that lays flat, I use my table. Now, if I'm not using my table, um, it's probably because there's a shirt on there. So I use it anytime I have anything that's laying flat. Yes, welcome to all the first time viewers. Thank you, Shayna. I did some bath sheets. Spring break starts here on Friday for everyone. So it's in two weeks. Okay. Hey, Raquel. Raquel, don't forget to email. Let me know about those, those hoodies. I called and order a an order a 550 550e. Tell me what's a 550e. Is that a four by four uh brother machine? Hey Nichelle. Hey Marissa. <laughs> I need to see how to use my tool. I just ordered my second machine when I got home for work. Congratulations to you, Mary. Janome, 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 um, 550E. Yes, congrats to you. So I'm going to show you everything I'm going to be using. I've already cut the sheets for both of these. So this is tearaway. You need tearaway when you're doing a towel. So I got my tearaway. And I'm also going to use water soluble stabilizer for the top. I don't want my um, wording, the name or the monogram to get lost in um, the uh, in the material in the towel. Glowforge DTG printed. Ooh. It has a large eight by 15 ish hoop. That's awesome, Mary. So awesome. Yeah, you can't use, this is not cutaway. This is tear away. No, cause if you use cutaway, you'll have the back of your towel. You're going to see that whole little cutout section. You can use sticky, medium, tear away stabilizer, or you can use a regular, I'm going to actually hoop this tonight. And if you use the regular one, you have to cut around it and it's going to leave that um, stabilizer on there. This one is tear away. So it's you can it's not between the letters and you can just pull it off and the rest of it washes off and you have what you need. Hey, Shania, it's my daughter. She said, hey, mom. Uh, Sorry, I hopped on late. I had to wait until the tornado warning went away. Okay, so I'm using that. And then on top of that, I'm going to use my water soluble stabilizer. Not the stabilizer, but the other one you had in your hand. What do you, what do you do? This is, you lay this on top. Because sometimes if you have like thick fabric like this or not fabric material. If you have knit fabrics, you have um, Sherpa, um, you have towels. Sometimes that name gets kind of lost inside of the material. So you want to make sure you have this water soluble stabilizer that you can just rip off and any other parts that you see left over, you can either pick or you can spray and it comes right off. But this helps keeps uh, your, um, it helps keep the name or the monogram on top so you can see it. Can you all hear me? She says scratchy audio. Can you all hear me now? Oh, I hope it doesn't cut off again. Yes. Uh, every time I do something on towels, every time towels, washcloths, beach towels, um, I use this. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Angela says she hears me fine. 
And Angela Bowman said, I sound better. Thank you to the Angelus. Okay, you're good. It's good. Okay, thank you. So when I have my towel, I know a lot of you like, oh, I already do this. And I know everybody has their own method, but I this is how I do my towel. I take it. This is the outside. Well, this is the top. This is the bottom. This is the front. This is the back. So I take the back and I fold it like this. So I'm going to take this and fold it like this. This is what I do to get it ready because this is going to be my center point. So I'm going to put this part. This is going to be my center. And I know to fold it over right at that center point. So here's my center point. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put my pull my camera down so you can see me as well. So I have my towel. I'm going to put it here. But first, I'm going to lay my stabilizer. So I'm going to pull this down. Hopefully, I don't scare you. Make sure your warning sign is down. I'm still looking. Here is my stabilizer. So I have my stabilizer here. And I'm using, it doesn't matter if I mark on this. This is my center right here. Just in case. Just in case I need to do, um, if something happens or it shifts, I know this goes right here in the middle. So I have my center point. Now, since I have my center point, this is going to move because my fan is on. Actually, let me go cut off my fan for a second. All right. Yes. Okay. So let me cut off my fan for a second. And so I have this here and I'm going to take my towel. So my towel is on the, I said I have it on the back side. It's folded. It's on the back side and it's folded. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure this is even. Now the design is going to have to go here. So let me show you where I'm going to put my design. My design is going to go right here in the middle. So I don't want anything on the lines. I want the lines to show be fine. This is a perfect um, area to put my design. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, the white hoop I'm using is called the, it's called a mighty hoop. It's an eight by 13 mighty hoop. It's magnetic. So that's what I'm using. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This doesn't, if this be, if this is steel. Um, okay. I think I cut a little bit too short, but we're going to make it work. So what I'm going to do, I need to push this back. I have it here and then I'm going to take it. And I know everybody else, everybody has their own techniques of doing things. This is just how, this is just how I do mine. If I can get it still, I might need to cut another piece because it's driving me crazy. I'm actually just going to put that right there because I already know what my center is. And I'm going to put it right here. And so I want my design to be right here in the center. So I know where my points are. My top and the bottom is here. And this is my midpoint right here. I've been doing shirts long enough where I know this is the middle of it. And the reason why I want it in the middle, because I want it centered. And since I have this land here now, now I'm going to put this here, put this back under here. I need to make some minor adjustments, but it's there. So I have it, let's see. Okay. And so now that I have it, I'm going to take it. I know my center point is here and I'm going to take it. And I'm going to fold it over a little bit out of space. Take it and fold it over. There we go. Shifting a little bit tonight. Okay. When it, what can go wrong goes wrong online, right? Goes wrong on live. Okay. So I have it. I have my center point. I have my two dots I can fill up here. So this is the mighty hoop. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to, my sign is up and then I'm going to, oops, take it and then I'm going to hoop it. All okay, right, now we have it. I'm just going to pull it just a little bit. And so when I'm done, it's going to look like this. So my stabilizer is stabilized in the back. And I have it like this. Now, um, I'm going to put it on my machine. And when I put it on my machine, I'm going to lay this on top. I always float this. Some people, 
hoop it and pin it. That's just too many things to pin and hoop. I just hoop that. I hoop this one because it's hard to try to put a, um, when you have the towel turned this way, it's hard to try to hoop that and the state to vote the stabilizer. So you want to go ahead and hoop it so you don't have to worry about changing or doing anything different. So I'm going to put this on the machine. So let's see if I can unplug and bring you close. So I'm going to put this on the machine. I'm using my table. So the reason why using this table is really good because if when you have a towel, something big, it weighs down on your um, hoop. And so this magnetic hoop is already heavy because of the because it has magnets. So you want to make sure it's not pulling down too much. OK, so I'm going to take it. I'm just going to slide it on here. I already have my stabilizer. I already have my stabilizer. I already have everything that I need. It's already centered. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. And literally I can take this extra part and just sit it up here. It's out of the way, it's not pulling. This table keeps everything else out of the way. Now I'm gonna take my stabilizer, take my stabilizer. Where, is my, where are my scissors? Here they go where they were supposed to be. So I'm just gonna take it and put enough to put on top of here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put it right there. And I am actually gonna put my little snowman sticker on here. Um, you can mark it, but I'm just gonna put my snowman sticker on here right here in the center but you can mark it and do it how you want but i just i'm just gonna put it on my stabilizer since that's what's on top it's not gonna be able to read it okay let me get my jump drive the table is nice definitely don't want to push way on the arm smart right alicia's using tearaway and yes so i'm using tearaway stabilizer looks like this it tears and I'm using water soluble stabilizer. This is to help my stitches be noticed or seen or plumped. All okay, right, so I'm gonna put my jump drive in. This is actually gonna be a monogram. So I gotta make sure I turn it around. I have turned it around 180 degrees my design because, uh -oh, let me see if I can move this. I have to turn my design around 180 degrees because uh, I have this facing the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look for my monogram. I'm using this ribbon. It's really cute. It's like a ribbon stitch, ribbon rope, something about designs by Juju. So everything I'm using, all of my designs, most of my designs come from designs by Juju. Okay. All right. So I have it set what I want and I wish I can bring you closer, but if I do, it's going to unplug. Unfortunately, can't see it. All right. It's only one color because this is a monogram and then it's going to, I'm going to let it find the snowman. So I have a little snowman sticker that I put on here. So I'm going to let it find the snowman. And see, it found a little snowman. I know it's hard to see because I'm far, a little far away, but. And they said I can move it now. So it has my center point. Know where my design is going to go. Now I need to edit this and I need to rotate this. Actually, <laughs> I should have rotated this first. Let me go back. Let me put my sticker back here. I'm keep thinking about my other machine, my other machine that I set it and then I do it. This one I have to properly, when you use the sticker, you have to put it, you have to do it yourself. All right, let's go back and let's do this again. Okay, I'm gonna go back. 
All right, let's see. Designs by Juju. Yes, Designs by Juju is the best. Good evening, Sandra. Yes, tearaway stabilizing water, water soluble stabilizer. All right, let me rotate this. Let me do something. Let's try this again. Let me talk to you all while this is loaded. Hey, Julie, we got 52 people watching. Right now, I am putting a monogram on a beach towel. And I'm also going to put a, my name on this towel. So it's going to be my monogram and uh, my name on this one. And I'm giving away two. I'm going to embroider your name or monogram, or you can use these for a gift. These are little beach towels that you can give to someone. Hey, Atia. Uh oh. Ooh, you told me this. Atia. Atia, right? Atia. So I'll be I will be giving uh one away here soon and then I'll be giving away another. So keep chatting and I'll have a towel sent to you. Um, everyone is eligible to participate. I'll mail you your towel already completed. Julie, how I found a site. Let's see. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's already loaded. Let me go back to it. Okay, set it, and then color is fine. Uh -oh, rotate, and you're gonna rotate. Make sure I can see it right. Okay, so I have it and I want to find my snowman. And it's gonna find it and then we're gonna go to the 50 people. Uh, thank you, Janie. I know I have three machines, but I'm not gonna use this one today because it has the table. Okay, move this out of the way. Everything is set. Let me make sure this is right. Uh-oh, let me see. It's hard, this is a new font, so I'm like looking at it like the A, it looks a little different. So, all right, let me, I'm gonna have to go back to it, I can't see it. It's different font, so excuse me while I'm doing this. Uh, let's just rotate it. And then we'll get started. There we go. Sewing. Okay, yellow is eight, so I'm going to switch one to eight. And I'm going to hit switch, close. And then I'm going to hit lock. It's, this is going to take 10 minutes to stitch out. So it's stitching out now. Uh-oh. Who's talking about? Oh, I have eight orders. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me go down here and check. I should be fine with... Uh-oh. What's going on? What is going on? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any issues. Let me lock this. I have eight orders. I've been getting orders the last. I wanted to do something different. And since I'm not going to be on this long, I didn't want to start orders and I have to be off. So let me see if I can bring you close. So here is the monogram. It's hard to see. The monogram is just four by four. You can do five by five, but it's really, really cute. 
And here's the table. So I have the table because this will hang off. You don't want anything to pull on your hoop when you're doing something that's heavy. And it came with my tin needle. I don't know. <laughs> I've been nervous. I've been reading a lot about it. Um, the glitter wall. Somebody said I'm still going to do glitter wall. I don't know. I might just have a straight pink. It might come back over one day with like a finish. I want the glitter wall, but reading a lot about it clumps together and I don't know if I want to fool with it. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be pink and it's going to be like the color of my nails. So supposedly when it dries, it should be this color. I need my nails redone. So yeah, so it's supposed to be the color of that. But as far as I don't know how to try and stick anything in the house. What's what did I miss? Hey, 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 52 people. Don't forget that like button. 52 people and 36 likes. Yeah, they say it gets messy and it gets in the brush. A lot of people was complaining about it was like sticking to bristles. So my husband and I are going to work and I will record like give you like a sh uh, an overview shot of my office because it's a hot mess express right now because I moved everything over there and show you what it looks like before we're gonna paint we're just gonna take all the machines and move it over there to the side so hey Denise welcome welcome today I'm just monogramming towels so I'm getting ready in about five minutes i'm getting ready to give away a towel i'm going to use the comment picker so make sure you're active i'm going to give away a towel and i'm just going to send you one i'm going to monogram it and it can be a gift for you it can be something for grandkid your son uh, daughter because i can do this in blue there's, there's no pink in this one if you want the yellow one. and if you prefer the pink one i can do the same thing as well Hey, Tracy. Hey, Shirley. So, and whoever wins gets to pick the color they want first, and then the second winner gets the other one. So, let me go to comment picker, and I'm going to pick my first winner in just a second. Comment picker. Let's see. Oops. This is for. I'm sorry. I'm on the comment picker. Let me go to YouTube. YouTube comment picker. Okay, here you go. All right, uh, my first winner is Ashley Marker. Ashley, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need drum roll, sorry. I had y'all anticipating last time when I did a giveaway and it was going slow. Ashley, what color would you like? The yellow? The yellow towel, the pink towel? Woo -woo. And you're gonna, I'm gonna put my email in the box and you're gonna send me an email and you're gonna tell me if you want a name or a monogram. You want the pink one? Okay, so the pink one is Ashley's. Hey, the yellow one is still cute. Both of them are really cute. You know, I'm biased because of pink, but the yellow is still cute. So I'll be picking this winner in, in just a little bit. So please hang on tight. Yes, Ashley, you can email me at HayesCustomCreations at gmail.com. 
Um, I'll let you know. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put my email. This is my business address, uh, email address, and my address. My business address is the P.O. Box. So I cannot wait to show you this monogram. It's looking so good. Oh, you're welcome. Actually, this is fun. I like giving away stuff. So look at that. Has like a, I don't know, it says brain. I have to look at the name. Let me see if I can find the name of this. It was just different. And I was like, why not? It's called Stitch Ribbon Monogram. But from designs by Juju. So stitch ribbon monogram is what it's called. Hey, Amber's here. Amber's in the building. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Bingham Bliss. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I will be um, using my surgery soon. So that's coming up. Can't wait. I've been inspired by Bingham Bliss and uh, Nita Fajita, but Amber. Amber's the goat when it comes to sewing and surgeon, number one. So if you love to, if you love sewing, embroidery, surgeon, you need to follow Bingham Bliss. She is the best. Aw. Just needs to do the A now. It's my my monogram is aha. Uh -huh. That's my monogram. I just see all my Facebook lives. Hey, uh, Melanie said hey to Amber. I know, like giveaways are fun. So I'm like, I got one person I've given this away to. So congratulations to Ashley Marker. She won embroidered. How she can get it, um, her name, or she can get a monogram, and I'll send you a couple of options. You don't have to use the one I have. I'm just trying to do something different. And the next winner is going to win this towel with your name or a monogram or whoever name you want it to be. It can be a gift. Somebody going to the beach. Somebody doing something. This is a beach towel. So soft and absorbent. And it has a little, you know what's so cool about these? Look at this. You can hang them just like this. It has a little hook to where you can hang them. I know. Surgery is great. I can't wait. My project for this weekend, well, today and tomorrow, and uh, college tour got switched to tomorrow. All three of us are going to the college tour for my daughter. So that got switched, and we're doing that tomorrow, and I'm going to just record me uh, moving stuff around, put my room back together. I'm excited about my new fabric bins. I'm going to show you all that. So currently, I have these. Came from Ikea. They were green. We moved into our house almost 12 years ago. It was green, so I just kind of went with it. I made it like a pink and green room. I'm not affiliated with Alpha Kappa Alpha, but I made that room. And now I found these. How cute are these? So dark, so pretty, happy color. And then I got these new bins. So these came from Ikea. They were a little bit more, but they also a little bit, they're better. Um, the material is very durable. And I got these at Walmart. So I have half of them now, and another other half is going to come uh, next week. So, yep, these are so cute. And they fit perfectly. Like, um, let's see how perfectly they fit. I just want something brighter. Let's see if you can see it. So, it fits perfectly. Right there. All right. That one is done. I need to get it off the machine because it's going to drive me crazy. So it has this little <laughs> funky embroidery design, but I like it's different. 
water soluble stabilizer wss you just it rips off okay so you can rip it off and the parts that do not come off you can either take you can take you can pick it off because it comes off easily or you actually can spray it because it's water soluble stabilizer so i have that it's a little bit off to the side but that's okay it's different when you're trying to like show someone your directionality becomes all kind of mixed up yes i got them from walmart new bins came from walmart okay and so you just take this is tear away this is why i use tear away Oops. tear it away because you can pull this off and if you use cut away it'll look like this the whole time even when you wash it so you want to make sure you're using uh cut away yeah, I try to mix it up. I want to, um, I was looking at that list of 101 things to embroider that embroidery nurse uh, Kelly had mentioned one time. And I mean, I've done towels and pretty much embroidered, but a lot of things in that list I would like to try. So I'm saying, I'm going to say my Thursdays, unless I have a ton of orders and I have to work for embroidering new things. So it's kind of like a second tutorial, but just a little question to answer. Um, but just like for either samples, I'm going to make new samples for my shop and I, or I'm going to do something different with my tutorial. My shelf is from Ikea. Yes. And it's very, I mean, I had it upstairs. We brought it all the way downstairs. Not as like a lot, a long way to go, but it stayed together. And usually Ikea shelves, you know, it depends on how you take care of them. But I got it from Ikea like five, six years ago. Do you use tear away on everything this way? You don't get no backing. No, I only, if I wear it, I don't tear it. So if it's a shirt, it's cut away. If it's a towel, something like this, like this is, this is tear away. So cut away is, is what I use if I'm, if it's something you wear. This one does not. So I'm just going to show you, you can pull this off. I'm going to put the other one on there, but here it is. Like I said, it's a little off, but it's okay. I just got my little monogram there. And you can do it bigger, but it takes a, it takes a lot more time to do to make it bigger. So now I'm going to do my name. My name is five by six or four by six. So bye, Melanie. Thank you for stopping by. It is a lot. I printed out today. It was like 13 pages. It's 101 things you can embroider. You didn't know you can embroider. So I was like. And number 89 was like wood. It's like, okay. I don't think I'm gonna put wood under my machine, but I had a guy or they had a link to someone that was using that was embroidering wood. Oh yeah. These uh I mean, even if they didn't lay flat, I mean you still these still can't. well, I don't know. I, think, I mean, this comes out and you can bend and you fold. Yeah, probably cork type wood. I just know I haven't tried it. I'm not into making things with wood. But if you are interested, um, let's see. Simply, Simply Sally Anita Fajita does a lot of wood, uh, wood work and makes signs and things like that. That's like one thing I do not do, I don't do wood or I don't make signs. I do decals, I do vinyl, I do all of the above. Um, that's the only thing I do not do. Hey, Anna saying hi to everyone. I love it. I love how everybody's like speaking like to each other and know each other in this community. Yes, it was really fast. It was only 10 minutes to stitch out that design. So I'm going to do the second one. And the second one is the same instructions. I'm going to use my stabilizer. Oh, let me plug up my computer because it says low battery already. And I just unplugged it. Okay. So, because I want you all to be able to see the other one. Thank you. Stay tuned because I'm going to have another winner soon. Who's going to win the yellow one? All right. So I just have my little spot. I'm just going to go ahead and mark it because it's kind of hard to. 
There we go. Mark it to my center point. And I can lay this back down, doesn't bother me. So this is what's gonna be. Now it doesn't matter if this is marked. Like I said, this is tear away. You wanna use tear away when you're doing towels. Uh, Y'all are so sweet. I have a brother serger, Lakeisha. Brother 1034DX. All right. So I've done the pink one. Now it's time to do the yellow one. Pretty much going to do this the same way. I take my towel. This is the back of it. And I fold it like this. And the reason why I fold it like this, because this already creates where the center of the design is. So I'm just going to take it. And I know to put it right down the line. I know I'm not showing you. So I'm going to take it and I know just to put it right there on the line. And I want it in between this orange line and this orange line. So I know that's my stopping place. And this is my center. I'm like working with limited space here because everything is like over this way. So I take it and you pretty much just take it in. You can either use your finger to hold it and just pull it over. That's what I'm doing. And this one is going to be my name. And you, and even with this, you still have to flip it 180 degrees because you're going to be putting it on the machine the opposite direction. So we have that. All right. And you can mark it or whatever you want to do here. You can use a water soluble pen. I know I have one. I just I don't know where I put it. And it dissolves with water. Smart be gone. You can get it at Amazon, get on Amazon, Walmart, anywhere. Yeah, I just sprayed it. And I'll show you the spray bottle that I use um, when I'm spraying away the extra cutaway stabilizer. Okay, so my little hoop is hiding from me. So I'm using a Mighty Hoop. This Mighty Hoop, and I'll link it down below, is 8 by 13. So I use this for my towels. I hoop my tearaway stabilizer, and I also hoop my um yeah everything is hooped except for the water soluble stabilizer which i lay on top so so i put it on there and it is hooped i'm going to do it again because it was off just a little bit and i'll show you what it looks like in just a second make sure it's where it's supposed to be and you can get this roll um, this, you can get this big roll from, I have the sheets, but the sheets are too small to fit this hoop. I think they're 12 by 12, eight by 13. So it might fit uh, lengthwise, but widthwise it wouldn't work because you want to have a little bit over. So you can get this on Amazon or you can get this uh, at your local sewing machine place. All right. So let me go ahead and. Fix this, Doo -doo -doo. make sure it's even now. There we go. Here we go. So I have my towel hooped. Here it is. So now I'm gonna take my towel, I'm gonna take it over here. Remember, I'm gonna put it opposite direction you don't want it this way because you have to figure out what are you going to do with all of this extra even if you don't have a table you can set it to the side you can make sure this is pinned you can like put it over here just make sure it's not uh, in the way of the needle so and yes you can do this on a piece 770 i did my first monogram 800 hats uh, you name it i did it on there so don't limit yourself. You can do towels. Um, I, my first couple years embroidery, that's what I did a lot of. I did a lot of towels. I pretty much just did anything and everything that I feel like I was comfortable um, and well crafted enough to do. So I just, before you sell it, try it. Make sure you know how to do it. And also make sure you get your measurements and things correct. All right. So, I'm going to actually just lay this water soluble right here right now so I don't have to. Yeah. I'm just going to put it over here. Not going to be able to see it 
anyway. So I'm gonna take this so I have to wait and hoop this. And I another thing to love about this table is that when I use this table, it just kind of holds everything out of the way anyway. So you don't have to worry about it like folding under and getting stuck. It's not gonna do that. Because it kind of moves everything out. And I just take it, I fold it, it's laying there. Welcome, Shirley Scott. Round of applause for Shirley's first time here. Whoop, whoop. Shirley Scott is in the building. Whoop, whoop. Welcome, Shirley. All right. Look at everybody saying hi to Shirley. What? I, I keep moving my scissors. There you go. Keep moving my scissors, trying to read and work at the same time. I'm just going to cut this. Like I said, if you want to uh, hoop this or pin this, you can. I just don't. I just kind of just lay it there. And I'm actually going to take this and fold it and then put my sticker on it. So that way I already have my center. I like to find my center point on everything. <laughs> so you don't have to do this if you don't. You can just hoop it. But I'm going to do it like this. Okay. This is my center point. All right. All right, so I have center point it's right here where I want it to be in the middle. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Let's back in. Let's see who else is here. We got 60 people. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you. She's good. I'm not just trying to start. Yes, thank you everyone for welcoming Shirley. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, Nelly. Straight to the point. I like that. All right. That's Olivia Jane. If you did not get a chance to catch my video um, yesterday, it did come out later. And you want to see how I monogram, well, applique this baby gown. And I did this hat. Look how cute it is. It almost looks like it's, uh, this thread is so pretty. It looks so good on the pink. I mean, it is so shimmery, so cute. And look at that. I have the video on how to monogram a baby gown. And if you have any questions about measurements for that, please let me know. I'll be glad to tell you any measurements. All right. So let's hit set. I'm going to rotate this. I want it this way, facing there. I'm going to use my blue. This is called Blue McCall. Is this Floriani? So I either use Floriani thread, Madeira thread, or Exquisite thread. So those are three. And I use all three because I have a lot of shops locally. And as long as they have that shimmer, that shine to it, that's what I like. Okay. Close. Edit in. All right. Let's go look for that snowman. So it doesn't matter when I take the sticker off. Wherever the placement was is where it's going to stitch. So it found a snowman. So can I move you up? That's okay, Mary. That's okay, Mary. Just letting you know, like, that's what I just uploaded for work at Wednesday. Okay. So I can remove the positioning sticker. Right. And this is going to, I'm just going to put my name on here. I'm going to go to sewing. I need to switch. Number one is number seven. And I'm going to let this stitch. This one actually, it's, it's a little bit longer. It takes 14 minutes. So I'm going to hit lock. Let that stitch out. Yes, Mary, you can still, you can still watch it. It is there. 
And anytime you watch any of my videos and you have a question, please leave it in the comments. I'll be glad to answer. Okay, so let's see. Which multi-needle machines can detect the snowman sticker? The 10 needle are the ones with the snowman sticker. The six needle does not have that capability. But it also does not have a laser because it has a camera. So that's why I can detect it. Okay. One off the my brother. I love this is why I love it. I love my machine. Okay. Let's see, do you sew? Can you sew on laser? your labels on everything i only sell my labels on things that are completely handmade so i have a baby blanket i don't have a lot of stuff with me but uh everything is like moved over there but when i made my baby blanket yes i put tags on that baby bird clock has the tags and i got tags made from so cute labels on etsy so i got like 200 for like i don't know 35 bucks I have a sewing machine, Mary, which I was looking for. I have a singer 4423. So. Amber, if you're still here, I think I'm going to get that so steady table. I'm so tempted to buy it for my machine. It's so much easier. I'm so short, and I love that it has that flat surface, and you can just slide it on through. Yes. So Baby Lock and Brother have it, but Shana, both of yours are 10 needle, correct? So the six needle does not have it. The 670E or whatever is current for the brother does not have it. The current Baby Lock six needle does not have it. Only the 10 needle has um, this one, the feature. Uh, also, <laughs> these are the snowman stickers. Never heard of this before. So the camera recognizes where your design is based on these stickers. I got like a sheet of these for like $3 at a local sewing place, but you can get this at sewingmachine.com. Um, they're probably even on Amazon, but I have lots of these. When I was doing, I had that mask order for like 370 masks and I had to put the logo on all those stitched out. Like these came in handy. Even when I put them over there, I like, place them where I want it and I just put my laser right there in the center. Yeah, Shana, both of yours are 10 needles, so that's why both of yours have a camera. So Baby Locks and Brothers come with a camera. Absolutely love it. The font that I'm using is Designs by Juju. Let me make sure I'm right. Uh, I believe this is Designs by Juju. Let's see. But it's a common font, uh, Magnolia Sky. So I guess it's her take on Magnolia Sky. Where is everyone? There you are. So it's her take on Magnolia Sky. It is so pretty. I cannot wait for you to see that. Working on some dinosaur things right now for the court in my grandson's room. Oh, that's awesome, Julie. Yeah, so it, see, it centers your design. Yes, yeah, Shana said, Snowman Figure centers your design for you. It just reads whatever you, wherever you place the sticker. No wasting time trying to line up anything. Yeah, once you place it, it finds it. Doesn't matter if this is like crooked. Whatever my, if I hoop this, if I hoop this and it was crooked, but I placed my sticker in the in the correct position before I hooped it. As long as I have enough area, I can just lay it on there. It'll find my central point, and then it'll put that place. It'll place it right there where you want it. That's what I love about the snowman sticker. And thank you, Monique. She said, love the baby gown video. Now, some part, the volume was a little bit on the music was high, but it sounded fine when I listened to it before I upload it. And then, you know, it's always something a little bit different or changes. So I'm glad you all are still able to follow along. But, and my baby hat too, I did not, I thought I mentioned it. Um, maybe I did. But my design is 0.75. So it's five inches long and it's 0.75. So it's not even a full inch because this hat is an inch. So it's flipped up. 
I did it like this. Yay, Ashley emailed me. Thank you. It's so pretty, Kate. Let me see. I don't think my phone's going to die that quick. I got to let you see this. You're going to love it. It's so, look at this. The color's pretty. Uh-oh. Look at that. And it's stitching out my name, Alicia. It looks, that blue looks so good on that yellow. Okay, Ashley, Marker. Do you, do you video using snowman? Do, you... do I do a video using snowman sticker? Yes, it, if you watch my last, my latest video yesterday, um, I used my tin needle. Actually, yeah, did I use my tin needle? Yeah, I used my tin needle. <laughs> so I use the snowman sticker. I'm like, that's the only machine I can use my snowman sticker on. So yes. It looks amazing on the yellow. So whoever wins this pal soon, you get to uh, enjoy the blue name or monogram on this towel as well. So I'm excited to send two people towels. So Ashley Marker won the first one. Congrats to Ashley Marker. And I will be announcing the next winner. Yeah, I love blue. I love royal blue. So hot pink and royal blue. Obviously, I love pink. But pink and then like royal blue. I always say Barbie pink and then like um, TSU blue. And blue is my, I love to wear blue. Oh, it's so pretty. And this, like I said, this color is called the blue macaw. No, it's similar to the Madeira blue macaw. But this is Floriani. I will have to look at the number. It is so pretty. I use this when I do my mermaid shirts, like the mermaid shirt I just sent out. I can't get to anything. Everything's over there. So, yeah. Yeah, we love blue. My husband's favorite color is blue. A lot of my daughter's hair is purple. Yeah, any blue. I just don't like, like, I mean, I like dark blue, but not too dark. Some, like, navy is all right if it's, like, we have the right colors to, like, blend it with. I just don't like anything. I like bright colors, you know. Oh. That's awesome, Kim. She has, she had great choice in color. Blue is very pretty. My favorite color is green, but blue is my next. <laughs> Cindy's back. All right, Cindy, I got one more giveaway to give away soon. Uh, Ashley Marker won the towel, and I have one more. Right now, we're waiting for this towel to be finished soon. So it's on the S. It has three more letters, and five minutes left hey anna anna's first time here everybody say hey anna anna marino is in the building whoop, whoop. welcome anna yellow is a good color yellow is sunshine it's happy my classroom is full of full of uh my office and my classroom well my studio and my classroom is pink just welcoming, sunshines, rainbow, you know. It's been a hard year. You gotta gotta brighten it up. So I'm excited to do that tonight. Y'all see, if you're just joining, usually this wall has my Hayes Custom Creations banner and it had 1,000 because I, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm almost at 1,400. This wall is going to get painted pink by the same color in my nails that need to be done over but that's okay when you out here working hard and you're hustling sometimes your nails have to wait so like i've been in crazy orders um just doing a lot of different things here and working on videos and i've had the whole week off but when you work when you have your own business you work for yourself you you even though i still teach full-time and i teach college um, you still have to 
you got to make time, you know. Plus, I love it, too. I get tired just like everyone else, but I love it. Yes, don't forget, you can join my Discord. Um, I had a couple people on there answering some questions today. So I try to get on there. If not, like, try to view it every day or try to say hello. Every other day, I try to get on and try to help out. And if not, there are experts on Discord from all different walks of life, different types of crafts that are on there. So, Shane, if you have my Discord, yes. As I said, you said popped up soon as well. I was about to say it. Shana, can you uh, drop my Discord link so we can have it? Ooh, it is so pretty. Let me give Shana a minute to do that. Yeah, Shana is awesome. Shana is awesome. Designs like you. Okay, so Magnolia Sky for the name and Stitch. What's it called? Stitch. Stitch ribbon. It's what I'm using. So, just about everything I use, like the name on the baby gown. What did you do with that baby gown? The quick is also pink. So, what did I do with it? The baby gown, it feel. So the name Jane, this font is called, some people ask me, and I know I said in my video, I hope you're able to hear it. If not, this is called Elliot. Um, so the Elliot font, this is Jane, or this is Elliot, and this this is Elliot as well. So the name is Elliot, and this, this, this applique is called Summer Applique, but it did not come from Designs by Juju. It came from Embroidery Boutique. So Embroidery Boutique here, and designs by Juju here, and designs by Juju here. So Elliot, um, embroidery boutique summer applique, and Magnolia Sky designs by Juju, and then the stitch ribbon designs by Juju. Ooh, look at Shayna. She came with the Discord and the Instagram. Shout out to Shayna. I appreciate you. Shout out to all my moderators here tonight. Shayna Krause, Angel Jasmina, and Shania, my daughter. So cute. I got to pull this off. You can spray it. Oh, let me show you the spray that I use. Just a second. Okay, so this was my little mist bottle. Where did I get this from? It's like $7.99 at a local embroidery place. Oh, it's done. And I love it because it has that mist and it's just like just what I need. You can spray it on here. I'm going to take it off, but so I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to do that right now. Boom. Y'all look at that. Look at that. This is Magnolia Sky. So stinking cute. Look at that blue. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this all. Yeah, this came off way easier, <laughs> of course. Okay. Look at that. So cute. And it's blue. So I'm just gonna take it off the hoop. Off the hoop. A by 13 my hoop. There's that tear away on the back. And you literally just tear it away. I'll still be a little gentle. Uh, just me. But you can still go at it aggressively. It's not going to hurt. Just that first initial tear. And you just take it and you tear it and boom. So again, if you had cut away, it will still be there. You want it to look like this. And plus, it will wash away. Like the tear away, that's not going to stay on. So, y'all, look at this. How cute. Right? And it looks good on this towel. 
So this is awesome. So Thursdays are going to be dedicated to either embroidering new things. And I either have, of course, I'd have a tutorial or making samples. Yes. This is so cute. Okay. It's so cute. Guess what? It's time for another giveaway. Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who would like to get this, the Magnolia Sky or the Stitch Ribbon? Um, applicate, not applicate, stitch onto this beach towel. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I have that blue, so I can put in blue. Who's ready? Who's ready? Mina's ready. Scrap Medivh says, so cute. S-E-W. I love it. Okay. Here we go. Ready. Okay. I'm going to throw this away. Let me know if you're ready. Who's going to win? So I can drop this in here. Let me drop it. Let's see. Hashtag ready. Okay. Uh-oh. Fuck up my cord before we uh, announce the winner and it goes off. Okay. Let's see. Paste. And click on the. Uh oh. Hold on just a second. <laughs> it's so, it's like, woo, drum roll. Look at this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I got six to eight people. You ready? Tell me you ready. Okay, now I'm going to drop it. It always does like perfectly for the first one. And then all the rest are. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. All right. Drum roll. 10, 9, 8. No, it's too far. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kim McConnell. Kim McConnell, congratulations. Kim, you won. Oh my goodness, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm going to give you my email. Uh, if you didn't hear me or if it's delayed, Kim just won. Thank you, everybody who put ready. That is so exciting. Next time, I'm going to bring more things. I'm going to have four. Hey, Trying to make sure I know my email address. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, it's custom creation gmail.com. Okay. So I'm actually going to be ending a little early because I want to paint that wall. Because if you come into my Sunday live, you're going to see a pink wall, right? Because I'm ready for this Sunday live. So once again, today I did this. I did a little, I did the Magnolia Sky, designs by Juju. This is Floriani. It's like the similar to the blue McCall from Madeira. And I still need to pull this off, but I did. This one is called Stitch Ribbon Applique. So this design was at four by six, and this design was four by four. So you can make it bigger because you have enough room to probably do like a, a six by six, but a monogram shouldn't be too big. Uh, it should be pretty. Big enough to be visible, but not too big because then it gets silly. But a name, you can put it, make it bigger than this. But the bigger it is, the longer it takes. And I want to make sure I have time to show you how both came out. Thank you so much. Congrats to Ashley Marker for winning the blue, oh, sorry, the pink towel. Um, and she gets the choice of monogram or name. And congrats to Kim McConnell. Kim, don't forget to email me. Um, you get the choice, you get the yellow towel and the choice of name or monogram. So please let me know. Mary, don't forget to email me. Your prize still waits. Uh, if you missed my last live, probably like two weeks ago, I had a live and I was doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, and I had six winners. I had two originally, and then I had four people. Actually, I gave away three and three other people donated towards um, the giveaway. So shout out to everybody. Shout out to you, Shayna. Thank you for being on here and helping. Uh, that's awesome. 
Pam just won a sewing machine on Cindy's live too. She was so kind of offered sewing. Else. She's like, oh, oh my God. See what happened? You pay it for it. And look at that. You already getting like you you got something else today. I didn't even get to watch all of Cindy's live. I was trying to edit videos and things like that. All right. Well, before you leave, please hit that like button and stay tuned for my live on Sunday. It's going to be broadcasted at 1030 and I'll be on for several hours. Plus, don't you want to see my pink wall? Come back. Come back. Uh, remember, be kind. And thank you so much for your support. Crafty Scholars, you're amazing. I will be having Crafty Scholar merch coming soon. Whoop, whoop. So thank you all. I appreciate you and have a good night. Can't wait to see the wall. Ciao.